Carolyn Doobie here. Today I'm sharing with you how I use art to help myself process emotions and heal some of the, um, how shall we say, hurts that come about from some squabbles and family disputes. Now every family has their arguments and we had a grand one not that long ago. We all love each other, I know that, but it still hurts and I still need to process those feelings. And this is where art has been the greatest help to me. So I'm sharing with you how I kind of work through the feelings, through the art, and also usually when I'm doing this, there's a fairly healing message that comes to me from my art that kind of helps me keep it all in perspective. Well, here's what I started with. This is a wooden board I've been working on that I think is absolutely atrocious at the moment. So I am gonna use that as my base, as just something to work on. I'm gonna cover up over, it's very textured, and I'm gonna take this stenciled heart that I made at some point and using some very heavy gel medium so that it can hold it down on a textured surface, I'm just gonna glue that heart down there. Now that's where it kind of worked for me visually, and I didn't quite realize all the significance that came from where I placed that until I came back and was putting the audio in over the video. And the heart right over the two people, yeah, that's a message for me from the art today, that's for sure. Well, there was one word that really captured for me how I was feeling at the moment, and that's vulnerable. I don't like feeling vulnerable, and as a matter of fact, I don't think I know anybody that really goes, oh yay, I get to feel vulnerable. And I decided to use black paint to put this on, which is a real contrast to everything else that's going on here, because that's really how vulnerable was making me feel. It was like this big, scary monster that was taking over things that, uh, and I was trying to capture that in what I was doing. So I decided to just take a big old risk and use a big dark black to put that word all over the place. Now this might sound a little bit out there, but each time I stenciled the word, I actually, it was like I was acknowledging that feeling and that feeling, it, it hurt just a little bit less. It wasn't quite as scary. It's still there. I still feel vulnerable as I'm doing this, but it's not quite so overwhelming as when I started. When I'm having a day that's not so great, one of the things that I know absolutely makes a massive difference in my life is to get my hands actually in the paint, the ink, the color. So that's some acrylic ink that I've put down there, and I am just smearing that around. Well, the ink was fun to smear around, so now I'm gonna smear some paint around. I'm not really thinking about a whole lot, I'm just enjoying how it feels to kind of smear the paint around. In the process, some of the words are getting covered up. Even those dark black words are getting covered up. And that really kind of got me thinking about, you know, can you cover up vulnerability? Is it smart to cover up vulnerability? Is it wise? Does it actually do anything for me? When thinking about when I cover up the vulnerability, what else am I covering up? I realized I need to cover up that heart because all the things that make somebody interesting and exciting and all those kinds of things get covered up when all that vulnerability is covered up. So that's why I turned the heart to completely white. Playing around still with more paint in my hands, covering up some of the words, find it interesting that some of the words aren't getting covered up, that no matter how much I try and cover up some of that vulnerability, it's always still peeking through. Yeah, there is a message for my art for me. Well, I'm gonna add some scribble journaling in here with a white pen and also a colored pencil, just kind of getting out some of my thoughts to help me process some more of what's going on in my head. If you're enjoying this video so far and would like to see more of my videos, I'd love it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel, gave this a thumbs up or a like, and you can also find me over on my blog at a colorfuljourney.com where I've got a newsletter and I've got blog posts and all sorts of different colorful things that I've been up to. Well, being able to create to get my fingers in the paint has definitely helped shift my mood, makes me feel a whole lot better. And I'm about finished with this piece, but there's still one more key thing for me to do. Okay, well, more maybe more than one thing. That heart, it was all covered up, and I've decided the heart shouldn't be quite so covered up. So I hit it with some water, and you know what? When paint dries and you hit it with water, it's kind of hard to get it to come up. So I grabbed a little bit of alcohol, and that's just simply rubbing alcohol, and that'll pull paint right up. So I've got the heart all exposed there with some of the color and the interest, and now I'm gonna see if I can get a little more of that word vulnerable to show up and uncover a little bit of that vulnerability. Well, the heart there is awfully vulnerable, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit of white back on top of it because as much as I'm getting more comfortable with the vulnerability today, 
I'm not completely comfortable with it. Haven't fully embraced it all the way. So some of the color is going to peek out, but there's going to be a little more white on top. Well, what's the big message that I'm taking away from my art for today? It is the fact that I have to be vulnerable. So I'm going to take that word B also from my uplifting word stencil, put it next to one of the vulnerables as a reminder to me that it's so important to be vulnerable. Well, thanks for joining me for my play today as I'm processing through some feelings from one of those ugly family fights. And of course, over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com, I've got links to everything used. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey, and I hope next time you have feelings that don't feel so great, art can help you feel a little bit better.